Chrissy, Heidi, and I, as you just heard, are political educators for the Institute for Health and Socioeconomic Policy, which is the research arm of National Nurses United. We are the largest na uh, nursing organization in the country with over 300,000 nurses. Um, we are now larger than the American Nursing Association. And basically, we broke off from the American Nursing Association, and we represent the interest of bedside nurses, whereas the American Nursing Association represents the interest of management. So from here on out, just to make things shorter, I'm going to refer to National Nurses United just as NNU. Our organization builds its politics on the belief that nursing, much like teaching, is a highly personalized labor of care driven by human need rather than by profit and involving work that in many cases requires intensive physical labor, direct person-to-person -person communication, and spatial proximity. Nursing and teaching focus on the cultivation and preservation of human capacities, and thus, to some extent, resist digitization, routinization, and automation, which have the potential sometimes to squeeze out genuine skill, creativity, spontaneity, ingenuity, and human connection, as much as they have the potential to enhance it. And there I was preparing for an online course that interrogates the dehumanizing tendencies of technological pro progress for nursing and teaching. And yet here we are at an online uh, feminist pedagogies conference, invited because we have collaborated with the extremely gracious Women's and Gender Studies Department at Rutgers to create this entirely online certificate program. But is this master's tools dismantling the master's box tension not foundational to feminist field formation, pedagogically, methodologically, and epistemologically. In our case, the master's tools are technologies somewhat complicit in the corporatization of the university, technologies partly responsible for a decrease in university professors, technologies that incontrovertibly result from severe budget cuts in higher education. In this conception, the online classroom can serve as a band-aid for the gaping wound to which neoliberal capitalism has subjected all levels of public education. Yet, the technology of the online classroom has made it possible for us to educate and build activist intellectual networks and relationships with nurses hundreds and sometimes thousands of miles away, and nurses who are in other countries. Without this extra-dimensional time and space of the online classroom, these newfound connections across geographical and cultural dif distances would not be possible. Our panel today introduces the new set of voices, the new intelligibilities, the new political possibilities, and the new relationships the online classroom facilitates. In a strange way, the online classroom enables us to teach a critique of the very neoliberal social and economic structures that brought it into being. Our goal here today is, in part, to discuss how we can best wrest the online classroom from these neoliberal forces and use it for the intricate and historically specific task of 21st century feminist movement building.